You know, the last thing the queen really wanted to be told is she prepared to go ahead and try to enjoy, despite not liking feasting herself, this new banquet, is that her royal majesty, who's very tired as a new mom yet again at like 50, <laughs> and also very tired from the constant chaos, the stork collisions in midair, and the very lonely single hearts of 18 single villagers. Oh my gosh, that's like half the houses! And we have another homeless villager. It's Light Shine Scale. He gave up his house to a younger fella so that they could go ahead. And I actually think it was Wolken here. So that, you know, Wolken, who's also a young fisher, could go ahead and have space of his own to find a partner and raise his own children. Because Light knows how nice that is, you know? The whole having a partner thing. Even though Cass Grimnail, his wife, ended up dying while trying to save the High Priestess from being assassinated. You just never know what kind of adventures you might have in life, I suppose. Light, I feel really terrible for you now that I realize that, you know, you're kind of just like homeless after, um, after all that. So let's go ahead and build you a little hut, I suppose. <laughs> And who knows, maybe we'll even help him find love in just a bit here. But the queen has other matters that she needs to address as well. The fact that plague was threatening yet again. And we actually only have like 50% health, which means that every other person you meet in the village of Lake Jim Kingdom. And again, Lake Jim. Ah, oh, well, maybe we should just start naming all of our children Mary and Sue. <clears throat> but um, yeah, every other person you meet is basically going to make you very sick. And that doesn't sound like the best way to start a banquet, uh, but also the queen took one look at how complicated it is <laughs> to make a banquet and was not amused. <laughs> so apparently you need to have like 15 different people or something like that. And there's participants. Randomly selected villagers participating in the building activity, there's no impact to their occupation, and they may gain <gasps> a social relationship depending on the production type. Oh my gosh! The banquets produce both prestige and relationships? Okay, that sounds amazing. We absolutely need to have that. We don't have anybody currently with the food and intelligence stat um, unemployed, but... It looks like Wolf Crystals, who currently is living as an innkeeper. Um, let's see. Wolf, you... Yeah, you're actually a really happy innkeeper. You have exceptionally high persuasion. Really good intelligence. Your food is at 91. Wolf, I know that your aspiration is to be an innkeeper. However, let's see. Taster. Is that... Is that what this job is? Is taster? Maybe? workers here hmm let's find out okay so he is a taster now and he's really good at it and i don't think his occupation is going to make him that sad this is cool so we need to have um four people working here they take our apple cider and they take the food that we have in abundance oh wow they take a lot of food the vegetables the fish the fruit the bread the meat um and then they turn it into prestige and relationships that's that's really neat i wonder who else we should have over here like east swiftblade is also an innkeeper and so is mal mal do you fight with east i'm trying to remember now nah, you, you two are good you two are good you fought with somebody like cats and dogs though i remember that i think it was poor <gasps> latte latte are you over here could you could we have could we have Latte go ahead and make- She is over here, our 82-year-old prankster, who the queen has actually been thinking about quite a bit, because poor Latte Lab here happens to be one of the most tragic stories in the entire village, having plenty, believe it or not, believe it or not, she has weak life expectancy and she's kind of frail now, but she also- <laughs> She also happens to have plenty of life left as long as an assassin cat doesn't finish her off. Um, and you know, she she outlived three spouses. You know what? Queen Saffron is getting up in years herself, even if Latte happens to be a generation ahead of her. And, and, and we want to make Latte happy. She's currently working as a prankster with all of the other old folks. And I think she really likes her job. No, she's just kind of middling towards it. She likes food a lot. So why don't we have her come 
and she can have a job as a taster because she's earned it. <laughs> You've earned a latte after everything you've been through. You deserve to have like a little bit of joy and happiness and, and extra stuff. I wish I could give her like a cute little hat or something. Um, all right, so we'll have her work here too. Then there's also Pixel Turnip Leaf, the farmer. We don't really have a lot of like high level tasters. Lasma Thunderheart happens to be a good taster. And you know what? Oh, she was Chaotic Healer's wife. Oh, are there any other gatherers at her work? Yeah, a younger younger woman named M that she apparently has been spending all day throwing apples at. Well, we don't want that, so let's go ahead and maybe we'll have Lasma come join us as well. Excellent! Wow, that's like 76 prestige. Um, and then who else? Like Fawn the Baker? I'm just having all of the... Well, I guess they're... Oh, wait. I guess there's so many old folks because we haven't married the younger folks. <laughs> I think we have like 38 year olds who have not been able to find a spouse. All right, look, Wolf Latte Lasma. Let me see if we can actually find a spouse for some of our single hearts who might be a good taster as well. You know, coming in as a professional banquet organizer or a prankster because now that we've taken Latte away from the old people's joke shop, well, do we have any other old people who are really good at jokes? Who might want a new job? Let's see. Laura Lee the Thief. Unfortunately, we need that position too. And Bermel Obel. Who, you know what, Bermel? You're single. You're looking for love. Maybe if you find... How about this? How about this, Bermel? You don't really love your job as a chancellor? So how about Bermel? Single. Looking for love. If you find... Why are you single? Oh, that's right, you you took up Penny's inheritance. <laughs> Married an older woman so that you could kind of like casually just gather up a little bit of inheritance there, I remember now. Uh, but Bermel, if you manage to go ahead and find yourself someone who might be a better chancellor than you, then we'll let you be a prankster. How about that? Oh, that's really ironic. <laughs> She did. They would have a bad affinity with a tendency to decrease. But she did find somebody who would be a better chancellor or even an actress. And that would let her go and join the prank shop. You know, it's not love. It's kind of the opposite. But we have a lot of extra romance floating around the kingdom. So maybe the chancellor can pull a few strings. And because this can literally get her a new job, we're going to wiggle on over and we're going to just see if we can pull this off. Countryside dancing and poetry, but not divination. Kittens were cuddles. Again, maybe allergic. Uh, let's see. Accuse stray fat cats for all the problems in the village. Um, and don't like cuddles. And you do to like divination? Oh my gosh, we actually pulled it off. <laughs> Look, maybe they'll change traits and they'll actually end up having a happy relationship and we won't have to, to worry about the, you know, consequences of having somebody married to someone else they don't want to be married to. <gasps> Zero, you reborn, like prankster you. Zero laughs. Now, who was, you know, before Zero, Golden Apple, the royal consort, reborn, sort of. The age is wrong, but the name, maybe he was named after the royal consort. I like that too. <laughs> you two are expecting a baby of 14 days? All right, the queen will be right back. She's She's got to officially acknowledge that, that's for sure. Um, we have so many villagers now. I, this was supposed to, oop, <gasps> another 14 day baby, Megan Nikki, wow. Also, where the heck did my freaking... Oh my gosh, this would have been faster. In a different... Oh, we found her! We found her! <laughs> Behold! Marianne! Belle! Let's go ahead and we're actually going to have you two just get a little bit... Like, that was a lot of our hearts. But now maybe your romance won't decrease super quickly because it looks like Bermel prepared stew for Marianne's working days and picked up food from Marianne, who's about to become not Marianne, 
Uh, oh, she's rowdy, depressive, energetic, and frail. Aww. And now she's one of the Obels. And she's about to become our chancellor as, um... Oh, Dragon... Uh, let's see. Dragonette! After Dragon King! <laughs> I love that! Oh my gosh, Dragonette Obel. Your family had very high aspirations for you. And now you can joyfully take over your wife's job so that she can go ahead and start trying to assist with... Let's see, how good are you at your job? The artisans. The chancellery is adding 7%. So even if we helped out with the nobles right now, that wouldn't really move us all the way there. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and put Vermel. Boom! Into the prank shop! She may not be the most talented just yet, but I have high aspirations that she'll be able to pull up that crafting aspiration of hers. Uh, she has decent crafting and she's got some fun intelligence. So she has joined the prank shop. That's really cute. Do I have an empty? Nope, I don't have an empty slot just yet. Well, we have storks coming. Maybe we will. <laughs> All right, that was actually adorable. I really liked that. And I totally forgot we were looking for somebody <laughs> to go ahead and actually come into the banquet. Oh, well, let's let, oh my gosh, another celebration. This is the fourth celebration in Queen Saffron's royal lifetime. The people love her, and I love that they love her. That's so cute. All right, everyone's super happy. And we're about to have a couple babies. I'm gonna, I'm keeping an eye on that. Oh, the forge is missing resources, you say. The Laughs family just welcomed a baby boy who's a bit depressive, but don't worry, you were literally born to a prankster. And this is going to be, uh, oh, hey, Pandora's box. You're still alive in your other form. So we're actually gonna go with um, boxed, boxed laughs, if you don't mind, because <laughs> that makes me giggle a bit. Uh, all right, and let's see. Do we have, we should have another baby that was recently born. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go! Oh, a kind little baby! Born to Meg and Nikki, all right. And this little one is going to be, um, Rant! After Tyrant! Tyrant, thank you very much. This is going to be a little Rant Baker. And guess what? You might grow up to be a teacher, ranting at your students, or an innkeeper, ranting about food. Both of those things are kind of adorable. All right, so we're missing resources or did we get that all sorted out? I think we did. We were really struggling with stone for a little bit there. Oh, and I need a lot of more. We have one minor seagull. <laughs> oh, bless your soul. You're probably just like hauling as many bunny hunkers as you can. There you go. The queen will try to upgrade here. We'll even upgrade your like working conditions a little bit because I feel bad that you're just kind of by yourself here in the mines. Right, so looking for mines, miners, I mean. Um, and also we want to get this banquet going because this seems really, really interesting. So let's see. Oh, whoops. This is the, the llama. I, I did not mean to invite the llama to the banquet nor try to fall in love with the llama, but here we are. All right. And who else is single? Rain, you're still mourning. Very sorry to hear that. Latte, I want to get Latte married if we can to a perfect match. Maybe the person, next person, perfect match. No. Um, oh, they're very kind, actually. Uh, I do want to check the other gender just in case. A bard, eh. All right. So actually, this guy seems quite intriguing because he's romantic, energetic, and humble. He's a fisherman or a blacksmith or a hunter. He's got really good weapons proficiency. He likes muscles, painting, and cuddles, but not flowers, music, or fashion. So maybe not into the whole banquet thing. Um, but let's actually see if he fits with any of our villagers really well. Hmm. Oh. Ziva! Ziva! You and this person could possibly get along. I love how we can do proper speed dating now. Uh, and then he likes some muscles, painting, cuddles. Got it. Not, not dancing in the fields in a beautiful ball gown, despite the fact that that's probably into some people's, um... Some people's, let's see, flowers are pointless. And then, there we go, minstrels disturb the quality of the neighborhood. Woo, Ziva, congratulations. By the powers vested in me, I do hope that you will be happy. Um, and we're gonna pop on over. Ziva, what's your last name? Crystals. 
and this is now going to be... Uh, oh, hey, light after Pandora! <laughs> light crystals! I like that, that's really cool. There we go. Also, now it appears that Mal Cream Puff, perhaps a bit put out, that, that no good, gosh darn frazzled, like, who was that kid again that she was always fighting with at work? I, did she just dismiss that person's existence? Because no one is listed here. Mal, you really didn't get along with somebody. And now you just refuse to acknowledge that they even exist? Was it misfortune? No? All right, we'll come back around to that later. Anyway. Oh, hey, and Wendy Copper Rat's here. That's one of our assassins. Lakeburg is thriving. The crowd can, nar stow nar uh, can now start using gold for more frivolous expenses. Well, considering that Her Royal Majesty has decided prestige is the real wealth, possibly. Despite already enjoying Lakeburg's theater, the artisans would like some extra comfort. It's not easy to sit on those wooden benches for several hours. Pretty cushions would lighten both spirits and buttocks. The nobles, for their part, are dreaming of an even more ostentatious banquet with marble statues and some gilding, impressing visitors at all costs is paramount. So the banquet would give us a lot of prestige. It would make the artisans, who are currently at 72%, um, less happy and it would take away our entertainment for 10 days, or we could go ahead and we could get money, we could make the artisans happy, make the nobles unhappy, and unlock the four worker slot in the theater building for free. <sighs> that kind of money isn't really our thing. So what I'm gonna say is the banquet thing. The reason we're gonna pick that one is because A, like, I don't know if I can really upset the nobles, because recently it's occurred to me that you actually can have your royal family overthrown if your villagers aren't happy enough. And, you know, considering one of our assassin associates who could work for the crown, but do you really trust him to only work for the crown? Is the one suggesting from dissatisfied nobility we should make the banquet a little fancier? I think we're just gonna say this is the cost of the banquet. Lake Burke's castle is gleaming with light. The new banquet certainly does impress visitors. What a shame, only the nobles can enjoy it. Oof, oof, I say. Oh, oh dear, and our, our guards are fighting here in the barracks. Um, okay, light, we actually did need somebody who could like help out with keeping everybody a bit safer here. Or the mines. Can you work in the mines for a little bit? Because, um, you know, if you don't mind... Oh, you, you're you actually... S Seagull, I don't mean any offense. Somehow, you're not quite as, um... Hmm. Wow, that makes a big difference. <laughs> All right, look, and you guys can have some more money to go ahead and get even more of that iron going. Um, and then we'll move we'll move our, our new friend Light into the barracks when we can. But enough of this, enough of that. The queen really wants to know if somebody would please hurry up and find... Um, how about... Sarion? You need a perfect match because you're, like, the future queen. But I really may need to get you married so that we can just have backup heirs. Um, alright. Wolf... You know what, Wolf? Can you find somebody who happens to be a good taster that you would not mind? Um, farmer, gatherer, lumberjack, <gasps> dancer. Well, that would be something. It, what did the dancers do? I'm trying to remember. Do we even? Wait a second. Wait, dancer is for the dancer is for the ballroom for when you get the ballroom up and going. Oh. That actually would be really interesting for our taster to potentially end up like falling for a dancer who is romantic and proud, uh, but a bit lazy. <laughs> so maybe he's happy to show up before the ballroom is put into place so that he can play with kittens. Hey, and he likes fashion. Wolf likes fashion. They both don't like poetry though. Uh, we'll give this a try. I just think that might be interesting. All right, uh, talk about the latest clothing trends. They both like fashion, yes. And then uh, poetry is a waste of time. And then 
pseudosciences. Huh? Ah, we did it. And now we can go. Oh, oh man. <laughs> now we need to maybe have some more people work at the house of the woo of the who. Because it turns out that, you know, you know. Oh, and this is another crystals. So we must have siblings who just married uh, their own spouses. That's really neat. You know, rich, uh, richly, richly crystals after uh, Cassie, Cassie Redox. Yes. You're just here to help out with the fashion, okay? Does that help us at all? Oh my gosh, it kind of does. Okay, you're, you're, you're just helping with the drapes <laughs> or something. <laughs> Oh my word. Uh, no, Llama, you can't have that stone. I need it for upgrading things right now. Here, you can have some veggies though. Um, oh, actually, and it looks like Bianca wanted some of our paintings, but we're not trading it for leather, Bianca. Paintings are important. Paintings might actually unlock us one of these prestige pieces pretty soon. Oh, wow, it really will. That's nice. Um, all right, well. <laughs> Like her royal majesty said, would one of you please find a taster? That's all she's asking for. Uh, potential actor. Look, chancellor. Okay, come on. Oh, a rat trainer though! We actually do need a rat trainer! This is not a drill, we need to keep rats- Ooh, whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, Natan! You might be finding a partner in just a second here. All right, you both like fashion. You like reading, she doesn't. Neither of you like poetry or divination, and she likes fishing and public executions. You like the art of war. You know, if you put those things together, and she's kind of mean and a glutton, but also resilient, that sounds like somebody who we can really, really use as a rat trainer to help out with the whole plague thing, and keeping them away, the rats that is, from being in our banquet thing. All right, public executions, fishing, fashion, divination, reading poetry. Okay. Ah, da, 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 da. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, books are corrupting the young. And then poetry's waste of time. Woo! <laughs> Thank goodness, I did need another rat trainer. Ah! So, that's true? We did need another rat trainer? Didn't mean to, um... Ooh, the Stoneberry family. Uh, how about Stone Rat? And this is going to be... Now we have rolled around to... It looks like... All right. Tasting the rainbow. You're back again. Or the rain glow. I still love that. Rain glow stone rat. Welcome. Thank you very much for helping. You actually are helping a lot with making our village healthy again. Now people are feeling confident that they can go ahead and they can eat at the banquet without dying of cholera or something like that. Also, a social and nimble little baby boy was just born to the butternut, uh, or to the berry family with butternut berry and wren calorie. I remember when both of you were much smaller. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. And then Mao beloved, welcome back. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to name this little one Maui. Maui berry. One of these days, I will be able to go on five, six years later, five years, I think, four, <laughs> a honeymoon with my husband, and we'll probably go to Hawaii so that I can maybe see where, you know, my family's from. That'd be really nice. Um, and then this is going to be a little honey, a wildfire after honeymoon. Welcome, welcome. You were just born into the wildfire family. And then Alan Obel was just born to, hey, Dragon Net and Bermel. How you doing? Take this for the new baby and please don't break up. Oh, geez. All right. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That was an accident, um, but there was a bit of a, a hiccup because as we go ahead and we name this new little baby, hey, Plasma Revolution, welcome back. Uh, Lasma is still kicking around somewhere. So how about um, Revy? Revy or Revy, there we go. Revy Obel, welcome. And now we have another baby berry. How on earth are you related to all the other berries? Through pineapple berry. <gasps> pineapple! Wow, there's a lot of berries. And a lot of them are dead. I would like 
to prevent that from happening in the future. Uh, and this is a beautiful, well-mannered baby berry boy who could become a jeweler or a priest, which is really always wonderful to see. And this is going to be, let's see, hey, Volskri! Um, let's go with, um, let's see. Volberry? Void, Voidberry, Voskri Bear, Voskri. If you don't mind, Voidberry, in honor of your name and inspiration, sounds amazing and really makes me want to play so many of, like, oh, oh, I just had this. <laughs> Is the Assassin's Guild has been enlarged? Oh, that's why everything went absolutely bonkers. Well, well, Void Berry, welcome. Welcome. And just in time for yet another feast with the famous gastronomic critic coming. I'll take the morale, take my money. The queen's discovering that banquets are extremely expensive. And we'll try to find a taster so we can get this thing going. And apparently a new assassin next time. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.